My parents were both very education focused. My mom would do summer school for us every year and she would take us on kind of these educational field trips and take us to the library. We'd go to the library every week and we played a lot too. It's not like they were overly pushy or anything and we're very nerdy anyway so we liked it. I joke with my students about it all the time that they need to embrace the nerd within and just be fascinated with the world around them and enjoy it. I went into in graduate school a uh, a genetics department. I joined a genetics department lab and about a year in realized you know I'm interested in the bigger questions, the bigger scientific questions about um, what influences and impacts health and I had a really great mentor in graduate school who was able to listen to that and respond and say, well, um, maybe we can get creative here in helping you find the right project. And I've just started a collaboration with the geography department. I had never thought about geography before. I'd never um, tried working with any of the software before. I just started going to their meetings and it was a totally new language, vocabulary and different methods and but I just found it fascinating and I thought oh wow this is much more me. My first year of graduate school did not go well. I almost left. I came very very close to going and just being like this is not what's for me. I need to find something else. But it was just that uh, my mentors and my parents and people talking me through it and saying you know we can figure this out um, if you're willing to kind of go back and retry some things and we'll try some things. People become invested in you, which is great. If you find really good people to work with who care about you as a person, they can really help you through it. It's not all on you. I remember one time getting stuck on a project and not knowing where to go. And because it wasn't my mentor's expertise, he didn't know where to take me either. And so um, one night I remember just throwing in my prayer randomly, you know, if can you just bless my mentor to know how to help us through this because we're just totally stuck. And the next day he came down, he came into my office and said, you know, I found this magazine upstairs, this it was a scientific journal. I was just flipping through it while I was waiting uh, to go into a meeting. They were busy and I just picked this up and was flipping through and saw this article and isn't this exactly what we need? And it was a methods paper that had just come out that was the answer to the question. And he had no idea. I mean, he was atheist. Everybody I worked with was atheist pretty much. <laughs> and um, I just sat there being like, you know, you were just moved on by the Spirit and just answered a prayer, but you have no idea that that just happened. Heavenly Father knows what's going to fulfill you and help you to be happy. And he loves you perfectly. And even if things don't necessarily work out on the time scale you think it is, even if it's difficult along the way, I've realized that that's his timing and his plan. And as long as you feel good and prayerfully consider your different life choices and these different forks in the road, um, your life is certainly not gonna be less because you went that way. And I think that's the major worry is people think their, their life is somehow gonna be less or they're gonna miss a major opportunity because they grasped an opportunity. And it doesn't work that way. Heavenly Father doesn't work that way.